Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, uh, Scorpio, I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are trying to get uh, consultations, now is the time to reach out to us, as we are now booking for March and April. Keep in mind, we do book rather quickly, okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, when shuffling the cards, the first card popped out. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is talking about new beginnings, the renewal of some type of connection. Ace of Pentacles can also represent uh, seeing value or potential in this connection or in this relationship that you're currently in. Uh, this could be that you're currently experiencing a momentum when it comes to finances, Scorpio. Now, your next card here is the Queen of Cups. This is your energy here, Scorpio. So you're very empowered. I feel for some of you guys, you may be going into this cycle uh, feeling very empowered, feeling uh, very focused. There is a lot of dreams and aspirations that you're trying to manifest. With the Ace of Pentacles, you will be seen. Um, Whatever it is that you're currently doing, whether it's in your finances, in your career, really put effort into it because you're definitely going to see the results. Um, the Ace of Pentacles always brings to us the materialization in the outer world. So again, it, it's a lot of manifestations that are happening within you guys. Here with the Queen of Cups, this is a representation of being emotionally available or being emotionally invested and in seeing value in this connection. Now the next card here is the Hierophant. So I definitely do see commitment coming through for some of you guys. This could be an engagement, you guys, um, if you're unaware and then you find out like next month. Sorry if I kind of burst at your bubble there. Um, the Ace of Pentacles here with the Hierophant, Queen of Cups right at the center. There's definitely some type of commitment, some type of elevation of this partnership or this relationship. Now your partner's cards here is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups could represent feeling a bit feeling a bit like things are a bit stagnant for them in their life. It could be that they are seeing that uh, you're booming right now. Um, there may be some insecurity issues coming about, um, but this is something that they have to work through. Now, the next card here is the Three of Cups. So I definitely do see celebratory type of energy. I do feel that uh, your partner, the person that you're currently dealing with, may be um, very much into being social or being around friends and family members. I feel that this could be almost like a funk that they're in. And that's the reason why they're kind of trying to reach out to other people or be around other people so it can help them raise their vibration. Um, the next card here is the King of Wands. So you may be dealing with fire energy, a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries type of energy. Um, like I said, I feel that you may be dealing with um, a situation where the partner feels like not as fulfilled um, in other aspects of their life, not directly connected to this relationship. I feel that they feel like at this point in their life, there should they, there could have been or should have been a little bit further than wh where they're at right now. If you look at your cards over here, there's a lot of stability. There is a lot of uh, materialization or financial growth that's coming your way and I feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing especially those of you guys that are in a marriage in a committed relationship there may be a little bit of jealousy uh, going on I don't feel that it's coming from a very negative place I feel that it has more to do with um, kind of like self-reflecting is what your partner is doing right now and I feel that there were certain aspirations or certain things that they wanted to do, but perhaps were too scared or too afraid to try. And there's frustration there because of that. However, uh, by the end of the month going into uh, March, I definitely see them a little bit more proactive. I see them more intensely passionate about trying to pursue some type of aspiration, some type of goal here. Uh, King of Wands is always being confident and being empowered. Um, intensity you know passion it's almost like they're being re-energized right now and i feel that it has a lot to do um with themselves it has more to do with what again like i said trying to achieve or trying to uh, create some type of manifestation for them and i feel that they're frustrated um it could almost be like a representation of as an example if you're married it could be the person that is a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad that is helping you taking care of the kids while you're out working there is a bit of frustration of stagnant energy here but 
they are gifted in different aspects and they do have certain gifts. I feel that they're not really tapping into. However, I do see that they will definitely be feeling more inspired, uh, perhaps an idea, something. It could be like starting their own um, business or trying to pursue some type of creative outlook that is going to bring more balance to them and make them feel more fulfilled. Now, for others of you guys that are currently dealing um, with this fire energy, I feel that... Again, the message is pretty much the same. I feel that there's certain aspirations or certain um, certain things that they wanted to fulfill before trying to bring some type of manifestation or some type of commitment to this relationship. And I feel that that's currently what they're going through. However, I do see that there is commitment here. I do see the elevation of this relationship, the growth and advancement of this relationship. If you're just into dating right now, I definitely do see you guys going official by the month of March. Um, again, I feel that uh, for some of you guys that are currently dealing with like dating someone, uh, occasionally dating someone, I feel that they may be a little bit in their head too much because they're scared of either moving forward um, because they feel like, this relationship has gotten to that point where there's like some type of officiality that needs to go into it and they may be feeling the pressure of it however i do see them really stepping into their own and knowing exactly that scorpio is who they want and they are going to fight for it or they're going to step up to the plate um and definitely give you that type of commitment here now let me see what is the energy that you need to take on for the remaining of the month what energy does scorpio need to embrace or feel more connected to for this month remaining of february 2021 okay you have the princess of cups so the princess of cups is being emotionally available becoming open to the possibilities um this is a message that um uh, connects very deeply with our emotions and what they're telling you right now scorpio is that you are a magnet um or feeling like you're a magnet and attracting uh, very positive situations, the right people, the right time. Uh, I feel that this is in very much unison with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Hierophant. So this could represent um, just being open to the possibilities of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or whatever it is that you're trying to bring forth in manifestation because you're very highly magnetic right now, Scorpio. Um, believing in yourself and having confidence in yourself. Let's see what is the energy that the person of interest of Scorpio or the target will be embracing or coming to them. What is the energy spirits? What is the energy of the partner or person of interest? All right. And we have the king of pentacles. Yeah, definitely stability coming in. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, even those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I definitely see that your partner will be trying to either invest or look into creating uh, something on the side. It could start off as a hobby that turns into um, uh, another source of income that's coming in. I definitely uh, see them really trying to align themselves to be able to meet you halfway or to be able to bring to the table what you're bringing to the table, Scorpio. So I feel that this is a very beautiful energy. I feel that what your partner, if you feel like your partner's like, even when having a conversation, you feel like they're not really paying attention, like their mind is wandering somewhere. Um, it could represent that the reason this is happening is because they have a lot of ideas that are coming into their mind, a lot of wanting to do something. It's almost the feeling what they're telling me here is like, I'm frustrated right now. I want to do something different. Um, and I think that this has more to do with their endeavors. This has more to do with their profession or their career um, or lack of career. And I feel that uh, going into March, they're definitely going to be much more inspired and they're definitely going to be putting effort towards materializing some type of goal, some type of aspiration. And I definitely do see that the outcome will definitely be positive for them here with the King of Pentacles. Sorry, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so again, um, the beholding, the materialization, I feel that they're trying to step up to the game. 
uh, step up to the plate. And the reason for that is because they know what you're bringing to the relationship. They know what you're doing and they're wanting to meet you halfway. I'm hearing power couple. So for some of you guys, it could be that you finally found your match. Someone that is uh, willing to put in the same effort and the same uh, devotion to this connection and to the growth of it, uh, thinking about the future. So very positive reading, Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.